Supreme Court, uh, it's very hard to predict, but under settled law, these sorts of lawsuits should not succeed. The state's heartbeat bill, temporarily blocked by a U.S. district judge last night, quickly followed by an appeal from the state. Texas's strict abortion ban has been in the national spotlight before it became state law. After an emergency request from the DOJ, the law is now on a pause. Texas already appealing that ruling. 25 News reporter Lee McNeil explains what happens next. The state's appeal after Judge Pittman's ruling means this law will now be headed to what some call the most conservative appellate court in the nation, the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals. The otherwise slow-moving judicial system could be picking up the pace. We could be at the U.S. Supreme Court maybe the next week or so. You think it'll go that quickly? It may move that quickly, maybe by the end of October. Constitutional law professor at South Texas College Josh Blackman suspects the court's ruling will be put on hold by the appellate court. Then either the U.S. government or Texas will head to the Supreme Court. The case the Supreme Court considered was before the law went into effect, and that case was premature. This case, the law is in effect, so I think it's a little bit of a different position. Though the ban is in effect, it appears abortion providers have been erring on the side of caution. Merely relying on the trial court's ruling does not save them from financial ruin. So I think they're actually more cautious. I've seen their statements and they've been sort of, yeah, we'll start soon. They didn't exactly say when. Planned Parenthood releasing a statement saying they see this as a win with abortion rights temporarily restored, but did not make it clear if procedures would resume. While Right to Life Texas released their statement acknowledging the ban, but adding anyone who performs the procedure during this time could face legal repercussions. We know that about 50% of pregnancies are unplanned. And so if we are giving women the health care that they need. Um, they can be healthier. Also, appropriate uh, measures can be in place to help them not be pregnant in the first place. The way things stand now, Blackman says it's a real risk to perform an abortion before the Supreme Court resolves this issue because Senate Bill 8 has a four year statute of limitations. So that means if an abortion is performed today, a lawsuit can still be brought up as late as October of 2025. Reporting in Bell County, Leah McNeil, 25 News.